And then I have this friend who lives literally straight across the mountain from us. She lives out and in Halford West. So she would quad bike to my house and we would have these like baby quad bikes and we'd quad bike back and forth to our each houses. And like that was like the best time ever because like we were never on our screens. And like we used to, we have like a little tree hut which we camped in overnight one night and it was just amazing. And like then of your bell trees. I'd have my when you just went back and forth, well, I'd quad bikes knee within about 50 minutes, I'd quad bikes even or TV, tihi. I only just mind of no about Bob Man when he neighbor about shacks in her yard when he when he went to a park and and yeah, local village knee we'd go to the park to play in it and we'd just quad bike over to the park, park our quad bikes in this like parking lot and just play in the park and like take picnics and stuff like that. That's been amazing, like that. Sim bra back be nato na na or sim like sim a plant I don't wear man on just man to van to wear answer man on stack screens no man on man on call a rival iPhone sim pre man on back pre even year seven man on call man on call iPhone sixes in year seven but like I never had like an iPhone in year seven I had like a tiny iPod and stuff like that but like kids nowadays are just so stuck to their screens. And I've like decided, like when I'm having a kid, I'm never gonna let them be so stuck to a screen. Like my parents never really let us watch TV. They let us watch films and stuff, but they were like Japanese animated films and like they were amazing. And that helped me like, like learn Japanese, but I never watched those in English. Like they were always in Japanese. And like, we never, we never got to watch TV and stuff. We were just, we had to, when you don't have the screens to rely on, you have to play with the people around you. You have to make connections with whoever is around you. You have to talk to them. Like, you can't just hide behind your screen, which I think a lot of kids do. Like, I didn't even know what a phone was when I was that age. Like, now I'm still awful with using a laptop. Like, my mum's better than me, but I, yeah, I think just don't take your childhood for granted. And you need to make the most of being able to play with your friends and getting the free lift from your parents not having to pay for anything <laughs> like I know how to yeah like going like going into cardigan like taking the bus from my friends when I was to cardigan was like the best thing ever and like with their mum being dry well dig print on the wee well in print your bus even often or two friends for your cardigan I went and put an even drone well a shop your back now well cal Coffee, man, coffee, hashtag one. I didn't put the name and yeah, just yeah, EP coast, the name and Vinach, I'll just shed my land. Yeah, just t- make the most of the ten pounds that your mum would give you. <laughs> well, little shopping trips, like, and I even go to Half a Dress. Me and my best friend would take scooters on the bus and we'd go to the skate park and like skate around. <laughs> and now I'd be like, what on earth was I doing? But like, I thought it was like so much fun. And we'd go to the Shaky Shack up in Ninkal, Nutella milkshake, best milkshake in the world. Oh my god, Nutella milkshake is heaven. I have any the Ninkal that don't know man in I just kind of that don't. I yeah, my but nowadays be poor well just an ice creams no wash it lady monty brown. I well I do nice but no the massive ice but no stuck fell ice creams no I'm more it's so sad watching that. They don't really realise how amazing their childhood is until it's like past them. Like you can never go back in time, can you? So like I think I wish parents didn't let their kids have these screens. Also, parents that like, give this like give phones to their kids to sort of shut them up in a sense because kids can like scream like and stuff like that. And to keep them well behaved, you give them a phone because it's a distraction for them. They stop shouting them. It's so sad though, like, I want every kid to be able to, yeah, I think don't give your kids phones at a young age is one of the main things, let them just play with their own friends, you need to, you need to give them that freedom, giving them the phone is like just giving them something to hide behind, yeah.